Welcome to Animal a Day. 30 Facts, 30 Animals, Volume 10. Bernese Mountain Dogs used to be used to haul cheese and milk. The dogs were able to move carts with weights of up to 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms. Some gave them the nickname of Cheese Dog because of this. Blue whales hold the record for the loudest living thing on the planet, with their calls reaching an incredible 188 decibels. To put this in perspective, loud rock concerts can reach 130 decibels, and a plane with a jet engine taking off can reach 140 decibels. Since the decibel system goes up exponentially, the whale's 188 decibel call is actually even way worse than you might first think. In fact, their calls are so loud, it's thought they can be heard over 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers away from a source. Bonobos are considered a peaceful species, much more so than their chimp cousins. Although the two species have a similar level of aggression, bonobos are generally much less violent and are not known to kill other bonobos or humans. Boston Terriers are known for having big bug eyes. A Boston Terrier actually holds the record for having the biggest eyeballs for a pooch. Its name was Brucey, and it was given the record in 2012 when it was found to have eyes measuring 1.1 inches, or 2.8 centimeters wide. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels almost became extinct after King Charles I's execution in 1649 because having anything related to him was considered a problem at the time. They bounced back in the early 1900s after a rich American held a contest to recreate the royal dog shown in old paintings. There is a breed of chicken known as the Easter Egger that lays blue, green, pink, and other color eggs. Each individual lays eggs of their own specific color, but only that one color. Cattle are actually intelligent creatures who are endlessly curious and love puzzles, challenges, and activities. They've been known to wander towards music, implying they like it. Desert rain frogs have the cutest war cry of all time. They sound like the squeak of a dog toy in use. They do this when angry or to attract mates during breeding season. Frilled lizards get their name from the umbrella of skin around their necks called a frill. When in danger, they hiss and expand their frills to make themselves look bigger and hopefully scare off a would-be threat. When extended, their circular frills measure about 1 foot or 30 centimeters in diameter. They are actually the only member in their over 400 species family that has a frill like this. Glass frogs are so named because of their translucent bellies. It's possible to see blood, bones, organs, a female's eggs, and even its beating heart through its semi-clear underside. Goats were probably the first animal widely used to produce milk. Their milk is structurally different than cow's milk and can be used to make specific dairy products that cows cannot, like certain cheeses. It's also thought to be healthier, easier on digestion, and better for the environment than the cow alternative. Pocket gophers can store food in huge cheek pockets for later consumption. These pouches are actually fur-lined inside of their mouths and can be turned inside out to release the food. This is where the pocket part of their name comes from. Great egrets like to catch a ride on crocodiles of all things. They also build their nests above their habitats. This benefits the bird by dissuading egg thieves while benefiting the crocodile by possibly giving it a snack by eating the egg thieves. Horseshoe crab blood is extremely valuable because it contains the enzyme LAL, which is essential to creating safe medicines and vaccines. One quart of the stuff is worth at least 15,000 USD. Lionfish have an insatiable appetite and will eat just about any organism they can get their hands on, or in this case, their mouth on. 
their stomachs can stretch to 30 times its original size to accommodate. They're an apex predator despite being so small. They eat at least 70 different species, and are also not opposed to cannibalism if other food can't be readily found. Like many other lizards, Mexican mole lizards can detach their tails to use as a decoy when chased by a predator. If chased in a tight underground tunnel, the lost tail can block the predator's path forward. The one unusual thing about the Mexican mole lizard specifically is that its tail does not grow back eventually. It's one and done. There are several well-known Persian cats in pop culture. It was a common trope for evil villains to have a Persian lap cat, and thus were featured in the James Bond, Inspector Gadget, and Austin Powers movies. The Fancy Feast cat is also a Persian. Some porcupines love to climb trees to look for food, though they are not very good at it. Many a porcupine fall in their attempts and die if they land on their head. Common potus are sometimes called, hilariously, poor me ones. This is because it can whistle a melancholy song that sounds phonetically like poor me all alone. The word potu itself comes from the sound of another one of its cries. Puffins love hunting sand eels or other small fish by swimming. They're able to carry many fish at once in their beaks by holding one group of fish to the roof of their mouths with their tongue, which allows them to grab another mouthful of fish. They bring their haul back to their family to eat, or save it for themselves to eat later. In the 1800s, quarter horses became popular on ranches and in the United States' westward expansion. Quarters seem to have a cow sense, or an inherent inclination for dealing with cattle, making them a favorite for cowboys. Rats are a common vector for disease because they host illness spreading fleas. It was thought flea infested rats might have been the cause for the Black Death pandemic that killed hundreds of millions in the 1300s. Though this has recently come into question, with some scientists now blaming gerbils for it. Though they can fly, roadrunners prefer to sprint away from threats. Some have been able to run as fast as 27 miles per hour or 43 kilometers per hour. Unlike the cartoons, real life coyotes can run much faster than this, so they could easily catch roadrunners. The Collie Club of America, founded in 1886, was one of the first breed specific dog clubs in the US. Collies were also one of the first breeds recognized by the American Kennel Club, as they were first put in the breed registry in 1885, or one year after its founding. Sea sponges can reproduce both sexually and asexually. In sexual reproduction, sperm released by a male sponge is captured by a female sponge, resulting in the formation of larvae. Asexual reproduction occurs when a sponge buds off creating a genetically identical clone. Somehow, male stock-eyed flies are able to deter some predators by dancing at them. It's not known why this works, or why females have more trouble getting away from predators. Too much stress can cause sugar gliders to bite themselves hard enough to bleed. Stressed mother sugar gliders may turn on their own babies and destroy or consume them. Tarantula hawks are called that because they brutalize tarantulas. When a female is ready to lay an egg, it finds and paralyzes one unfortunate tarantula through several well-placed stings. She then drags the still alive creature to a safe place with her powerful legs. Once the immobilized host is brought to a secure location, the tarantula hawk will lay its egg right on top of it. Once the egg hatches, it digs down into the tarantula and starts eating meat. The larva makes sure not to eat anything important so the tarantula stays alive the entire time. This guarantees the freshness of the meat. The larva will molt and get bigger a few times until it finally puts the tarantula out of its misery and bursts forth from its body. Vinegaroons are called that because they spray a vinegar-like substance near the base of their tails made of acidic and caprylic acid. 
It's a very pungent and vinegary smell that can fill a room. They are able to spray it between 5 to 19 times before they run out. Some box jellyfish are extremely dangerous to humans. Common Kingslayers, Irun Kanji jellyfish, Australian box jellies, and others kill more people a year than sharks. If their tentacles get a hold of you, they essentially inject little darts filled with venom into you. The venom causes a sharp rise in blood pressure, which can cause heart attacks, and extreme pain, which can lead to drowning if stung in the ocean. Thanks for watching. Now take that subscribe button to the zoo.